Hi and welcome back. This is the final video of the sharing. We already mentioned the four essential rules of 21st century learning. Now comes to the number four. School should be integrated with society. And this is the part that we are going to talk about. <clears throat> After the students have uh, accumulated all their information, present, and during the presentations, the lecturer should give them feedback and let the students to know how they can improve on their understanding and their knowledge related to the assignments that are given to them. So, which then the student can transform whatever scientific facts that they learn into something simpler where the layman can understand. From here, what we did is like we managed to collaborate with the school, Skola Baashrama Peno Integrasi Gomba. <clears throat> to create a campaign called Campaign Kesedaran STD, the STD uh, campaign. So when we arrived to the school, the event was actually carried out in a hall. So the students setting up their booths, making sure that they have all the information uploaded on their computers, on the screen, on the poster, and so on and so forth. So before the school children or school students come to the hall, uh, we actually brief the students to tell them what to expect from the student. Even though we have briefed them, but it's also up to their spontaneous uh, reactions when they deal with the students. Then the students arrive. All of them sit in a row. So we separate them according to how many groups of us or how many stations we have. Then we give a very brief briefing to tell them how they should rotate from station to stations and how many minutes they have in each station and so on. With the start of the program, students will go to their respective stations and listen to the briefing from our university students. Now, <clears throat> what we emphasize here uh, is not mainly on the language itself but uh, more of to let the students understand about STDs. So here what we can see is that some students are presenting it in English, some students are presenting it in Malay. So I didn't restrict the students uh, what language they must use. Um, here are some video recording during the sharings and um, the students not only using the poster as a media to convey the message, they also use um, uh, their phone to show some video or some pictures to the students. Alright, the next one will be the students, our students also created some activity to enhance the learning uh, process of the school students. This video show how the students work together to solve the uh, questions set by our students and in the form of games. You can see how the students excited when they managed to get the correct answer. So towards the end, what we did is that uh, we prepare some prize and give it to the winners. Uh, actually, all the students get the prize. It's just to enhance, to make them more excited about learning. And then we managed to get some acknowledgement from the school. Um, yep. And we also get feedback from the schools uh, asking them how do they feel and from the left what you can see is that the students really enjoy and the school asks us to create this activity every year. And finally we have a group photos and what about the learning process of our students? So we have student reflections where we ask the students what do they feel? And these are the list of the feedback from our students where we summarize it. And showing here are some of the write up of the reflections by our students. And some of them are so creative. And what they do is they re video recording their reflections and upload it to um, YouTube, as well as they created a PowerTone for their feedback. 
So this project will not be successful without the um, help and uh, collaborative uh, work uh, with all the lecturers within the departments, Dr. Saila, Dr. Adeline, Dr. Wan, Dr. Asila, and Dr. Tamizi. That's all. Thank you.